everyone and welcome back to stylish niger youtube channel i want to say thank you to all of my subscribers thank you guys for subscribing to my channel i thank you for your love for your support if you are new to the channel you are welcome if you have not subscribed please i would appreciate you hit on the subscribe button and then hit on the bell on the side to get an update whenever i upload a new video and then you are still going to see one join button you can still click on that button also okay guys in today's video i'm going to be showing you how to cut and sew two type of tails for your skirts yes you heard it right two type of tail for your skirt so the first one is going to be an inbuilt tail you can see the picture and then the second one is an attached tail so at times some people they really don't know the difference between these two type of tail so this tail actually give you it actually give your skirt fullness it gives it one kind of fullness you can attach them on pencil skirts that's long straight skirts and then it gives the back one kind of beauty and then you can also um cut them you can attach them also on a-line skirts so different pattern you can even attach them on six pieces and eight pieces skirt also so this kind of gives it a kind of fullness beauty and then volume so that's what we are going to learn how to do today because i really get a lot of this question on my dms so i decided to just treat it today so it will be clear for those people that want to learn how to do this okay guys so if you want to register for my online classes you can just see my number scrolling through the screen you can send me a message on whatsapp i'll give you the details of the classes we have presently available and then you can follow me on all of my social media platforms facebook pinterest instagram all at stylish niger all right guys so now let's get started so i have some couple of fabrics i'm actually going to draw a pattern and then we we'll transform we we'll work on the fabric it will make it easier for to carry everyone along so that's what i decided to do so we can sew it and then you see how it looks so here is my pattern paper which i'm going to use so i'm just going to draft so we're going to be working on the back of the skirt alone because that's mostly where you attach your tail to for your skirt and this kind of attached tail is also called a gordet for those of you that don't know it's also called a gordet you attach it to the back of your skirt so i have my pattern here already so i'm just going to go ahead and draft the back of my skirt so i'll use one inch for my allowance i have my waistline i have my hip line and then i have my knee line so when making the skirt these are the important measurements especially your knee line it is key and then my full length okay so i'm just going to roll out my zip allowance now from here so I took out my zip allowance already. So this is my zip allowance. So I'm going to start all of my draft from this point. So your waist measurement, you divide into four. You mark it here. Use your own applicable measurements. Okay. So my hip measurement, I'll divide into four. I'll mark it here. And then my knee measurement. So like I normally tell you people, for your knee measurement, you need your knee you don't need it to be too wide. Most times, when you see people make skirt and then the skirt, they don't have shape. The issue is because the knee part is, does not have shape. It's wide. It's too wide. You understand? Like me, I normally ask my clients when they come to make skirts from my hand, when they come to sew, I'll ask them, do you use public transport or you have your own car? You understand? So if for those of them that they will tell you that when they wear this kind of clothes, they actually don't use public transport, I know how to sew the measurement to use for their knee. For those of them that will tell you that they use public transport and then also know how to mark to, to to measure their knee okay so that is very important the ones that are mobile you can use reduce the measurement of their knee to give the skirt a perfect fitness so for this i'm just going to do the conventional one i'll reduce my hip measurement i will take out two inches from my hip measurement so take out two inches from your hip measurement and then i'll mark it here like this and then for the down part we're going to do this like an a line so we'll use the full length of the down part of my skirt so if you notice like i said i'm not using any particular measurement so i'll mark this here and then take this here and then i'll connect it here so this is just like a simple way of making of drafting rather an a-line skirt pattern so that is what we will use for this class so i'll go ahead now i'll cut out the skirt
and then I'll open this up. Alright, so I'll just take, I'll leave this and then we're going to work with this piece now. We're going to transfer this now to the fabric. So the first skirt that we're going to make is the one that has an inbuilt tail, as the inbuilt. So the tail is cut together. That's the one we're going to do first. So I'll fold my fabric now and then place my pattern on it and then show you how to achieve that. Okay, guys, so I've placed my fabric on the table so i'm going to show you how to do this right now so most times when you are adding an inbuilt tail to your back pattern the back pattern tends to be longer than the front so that means on your original pattern that's your front pattern for the back pattern you add more length or if not you'll not be able to achieve it you understand you won't be able to achieve that fullness so you add more length so most times like me what i normally do depends on how long you want the tail to be that is what will determine how many inches you you add to it you can add 10 inches you can add 20 inches you can add 30 inches so it depends on how long you want it to be so for this pattern i added about 11 inches to it so you can see this is the original pattern this is the tail now you can see it is longer so what you will do you just cut out on this side, you just take out the exact skirt from the side. So you take out the, the skirt, that's the exact skirt. You take out the exact measurement on the side. So you just take it up to this point like that. So this one is negligible. We're not going to be working on it. You just take it up to that point. And then you come to this part, that's the zip allowance part. And then you mark it straight to below your hip measurement. So now for the tail, you are going to determine where you want your tail to be. So most times the tail is usually, uh, the inbuilt tail usually starts from the nail part. But there are some patterns that you can decide to maybe come up like one inch or come down by one inch. But that coming down by one inch, it really it depends maybe when you're managing your fabric. But going up one inch is allowed or you just take it straight from your, from your knee line. So after marking that your knee line, so you mark your pattern, that's you mark on your fabric, your pattern to that point, that one inch or on the exact direct nail point. And then depends on how wide you want your, your tail to be. So for this you would determine that you can use, you can actually use slash and spread for this method also. As you can use slash and spread, as you can slash your pattern, you understand, you can actually slash your pattern and then you open it up. You can use slash and spread. I've, I've done it in one, I think, okay, no, that's for my online class. So you can use slash and spread on you. You can just decide to do it the same way I'm doing it. So please, don't get me wrong. You can use two ways, slash and spread, or you just elongate your pattern this way. So for this, I'm just going to do it this way. So it depends on how wide you want it to be. So you can see you're creating your angle. Depends on how full you go, you can just see my tape. I hope you can see it. Depends on how full you want it to be. That is how much open you will open. And then for that, you make sure that your fabric is big enough to accommodate the tail that you want. So for this, we're just going to go with what we have here. And then from this point, you're just going to create that triangle like that. So that triangle, you can just create it. So I'll just use what I have here. And then I created it now. So I've added this one now on this side like this. So I've added, and then on this down part. So whatever you're doing, attaching it, you make sure that on this down part of your skirt, that's the original down part, it corresponds. Because if you come here now, maybe you're carving your tape, and then you start measuring from here, it's not going to fit in. So whatever you do, you're going to, to, to curve it from this point. So it depends on how the, the, the style of, of tail you want to add to it. You can decide to do a straight, like what I'm doing now. This looks like a triangle. This is usually very fine. You can decide to do a curved one, like this. So it depends on what you want. You are the one that will determine that. So I'll do this one, this triangle one. It tends to be fuller or a round one. So you can see what we have. So I hope you can see that. I just want to check. So the next thing I'm going to do now, I'm going to cut it out. I'm 
and then this one. So you can see how our tail is. So from this point, now where I added it, I'm going to put a notch to it so I will know. So that is it. This is it. I'm just going to open it up so you can see by the time we join our skirts together like this, you can see the tail. You can see it like from what I have on the picture that I showed you earlier. You can see that it came out really well. So you see the back in built tail. It came out really fine, nice and beautiful. So that is for this. So you just join it like this and you have your full tail, you can see. So the next one I'm going to do now is the attached tail. Okay, so for the attached tail, so I've placed my pattern on my fabric. So I'm going to cut out the skirt first. So I'll cut it on the sides first. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do, and then I'll open this the zipper allowance part. I'll just leave a little bit of addition. All right, so, and then I'm going to put a notch on above the nail point, just like we did for the first one. And then I'll mark this. And then I'll take my fabric that I want to use for the extra tail, for the attached tail. So I'll take it like this and then I will fold it like a triangle. I'll fold it like a triangle. It depends on how full you want it to be. You can fold it like a play. So it depends on what you want. So for this, I'm going to fold it. I'll fold it like a right angle triangle. And then I'm going to trim. I'm just going to trim here first. So I took that one out. And then this, I'm going to place. This one to be wash. So this is where we are working on now. And then I'm going to place this like this now. It is folded like a triangle. I'm going to fold, I'm going to add it here now on that point. So for this, you need to make it straight very well. So I've made it straight now. And then I need to make here very slim. Also very slim. That's the triangle part. It has to be slim, so it just fits into that point. And then I'll place this like this now. I need to make okay. So after placing it like this, now you see my triangle here, which is also called the body. So I'm looking for my chalk now. So I'm always looking for chalk. Okay, so the next thing now, you are going to determine how wide you want it to be by your triangle. That's what you will use to determine that. So the next thing I'm going to do now, I'm going to come here. So since it is a tail, most times it is always extended more than the more than the original piece. So you measure, depends on how long you want it to be. You can see your triangle. It is going down and down. So it depends on what you want. So mine, I'm just going to stop it from this point like this. And then I'm going to curve it like this. I'll curve it to fit into that point. You understand? So you can see what I have now. So because of the camera. And then just make it as a curve. And then it fits back into that point. of the, That's the down part of the back. Of the center back. And then you cut it. And then you cut this out like this. And then you divide this into two. Because it's going to have a joining. It's going to have a joining. It's not going to stay like that. There are some. You can decide to make it stay like that. So it depends on what you want. But most times when you divide it, it is always easier to work on when it is divided into two. So if it is not divided, you can... You, you are going to have some excess. So I'll open this up now like this. And then I'll show you how we are going to stitch it. So this is the center. You have our two piece like this. Now, so you make sure you, you mark the side where we are going to stitch. Make sure you mark it. 
so you don't confuse yourself. You know that this side is the side that is going to be attached. Mark it like this and then mark this one also. And then you take this piece now. This one is going to fit into this point like this. And then this one now is going to fit into this point also like this. So I'll take this back to my machine and from here I will stitch. I will stitch this down to this point like this. And then I'll take this other one also and then I'll stitch it also. So I'll go and do that and then bring it back and show you. Okay, so after joining, so you can see how the attached tail is looking like. So the next thing now, that was why I was saying open it up. It makes it easier. You place them like this together and then make sure that it matches on this side like this. That's on the part where you attach the tail. Make sure it matches on that side and then stitch, stitch it down like this. So I'll go and do that and then iron them properly and show you the final look of the two skirts. Okay guys, so this is our first skirt, the one that has the inbuilt one. So this line that you are seeing here was because I joined my original fabric. So that is why I have a line here. So if I had not joined it, you are just going to see everything is going to flow down straight. So you can see this one is the cut together tail. You can see it so i'll just turn it like this now so you can see this is the cut together tail and then the second one that i have is the was the one we attached the tail which is the inbuilt tail so you can see how this one is looking so for this one now you can decide depends on how long so i can just decide to trim just to trim this a little and then make sure you blend all of your edges together okay so this is the one that we attach the tail so you can see the difference between the both skirts so for these two type of skirt depends on your fabric depends on what you want that is what you would actually do for both skirts so thank you so much i have now come to the end of this tutorial if you find it helpful please hit on the like button if you have not subscribed please subscribe to my youtube channel thank you so much guys I will see you in my next video.